welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me for another shave. It's Saturday, the weekend's here. I can't wait till Saturday. Unfortunately, I've got work. <laughs> right, what are you using? I'm looking forward to this. I've had a good few days, I'm just a bit giddy. Right, soap I've never heard of. Um, this was a, a very generous gift from Brian Foley. Brian, if you're still watching, thank you so much for your generosity, mate. And it's Oz Shaving Company, Full Moon. Another Halloween theme. Right, notes in this are, I, I couldn't really find any notes. I went on the website and it said opening soon, but these have been going for years. Um, so I don't know what that's about. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to leave a link for this. <laughs> Notes are amber, fresh dirt, campfire, gunpowder. That'd be your, your street chuck. Fern pine, rusty iron of blood. And there's another note, but I couldn't remember it. It's unique. That's what I'll say. The first thing that hits me is the pine. It's nice, it's, it's green. I get the iron out the blood. I get amber. Dirt, I don't know. I, I get the gunpowder. So I get most of them. There's the pot. It's nice. I've never heard of them. No labelling all the way around, no ingredients or anything. I presume it's basic ingredients but that's what we're using and I've got some spread out I've had this two years <laughs> I've got some spread out in my Captain's Choice Obsidian Cauldron we're calling it the cauldron I've got to use this brush again the brush I'm whipping that up with is my Rich Man Shaving Blood Oath 24 mil millimeter super synthetic nice little bit of backbone on this as well but it's nice and soft it's got the blade in there you can see all the blood running through it rich you're a talented man it's it's a stunning brush and i'm going to soak that just to soften the bristles up even more in skeletal raisin of choice i haven't used it for a while and i've just fancied it is my, is that the right way around? I don't know, I'll find out. <laughs> it's my leaf twig in gold. Constant different colors. Now I never used to like this razor to begin with. It just grew on me, grew on me. And it's one of, the, in my opinion, it's one of the best single edge razors there is. Very vintage, retro looking, but very futuristic. In the way you load the blade. Do, 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 do. Look at that, isn't that cool? Right, <laughs> blade I'm using uh, is Puma Sharp, and if you noticed in the thumbnail, there wasn't the blades because I normally show the blade, it's because I forgot to put it in. But that's what we're using Puma Sharp. Come already single edged. And that's what it looks like in the wrapper. Single wrap. Quite a bit of glue on that bit, but there shouldn't be too much on the blade, if I remember. Yeah, there is a bit actually. There's the blade, guys, already for you. Now, I'm actually going to dip this in a bit of hot water and rub it. Just dip it in hot water and rub it to the sides just to help it a little bit. Now there's slots on either edge of this and there's magnets in the middle to hold the blade. So you can't really go wrong. There we go. There's the blade loaded. Let me turn that down a bit. Is that better? And then we just Turn the base of the handle. Locked and loaded. 
Right, let's whip this lather. I hope it's okay. I don't know what the base is like or anything. So just get it to, I like to get it to a paste first. And then just add water as we go along because if you use too much water you can't take it out. And it can just ruin your lather. So you're better off being patient and build up your lather. I'm limited obviously because of the video. I don't want it going on for hours and hours and hours and hours. And then I'm just going to splay the knot and then gather. Scent strength, I would, oh, I can really smell that pine. Scent strength out of the puck, I would say, was a six. And it goes to about a seven, in my opinion. Wow. No problem with that leather. Look at that. I named that tune. <laughs> Remember that? Tom O'Connor. My late mother used to go to school with him. A few guys in the UK. He was a, for you guys that don't know him, Tom O'Connor was, um, he started out as a comedian. And um, he went into like game shows and stuff like that and on TV. Was that hair? I could have sworn I'd seen the hair then. Just a little dab more. Sorry if this video goes on. A little bit longer than normal but I'm not rushing I'm not in any rush it's the weekend so how are you guys doing you okay oh that is just about perfect I'm gonna go with that yeah I hope you have some great shaves guys I know some of you have from your comments your shaves of the day keep them coming guys just knock the razor into the water never mind so you guys are having some great shaves yeah it's it's a it's a very unique scent this very unique it reminds me, it's a bit on the um, Southern Witchcrafts, that kind of vibe with it. Yeah, I'm getting a, I'm getting a bit of smokiness now. Now it's lathered and getting a bit of air to it. Feels slick. Like I say, I've had this two years and I forgot all about it. Right, here we go, guys. The twig with the perma sharp. I couldn't, couldn't think of the name though. The blade. Yeah, I know I need an air cut still. I'm working on it. Here we go with the grove. One thing I found this razor that it rinses really well, considering it's such a, a low profile. It doesn't look like there's much gap in there. It's extremely comfortable in the hand as well. Two days worth of growth. Great for getting to the nostrils. It's really agile around the face. I've heard as well that the um, the leaf thorn is 
it's more aggressive. I haven't got one. This feels extremely smooth, but it's efficient. It's a great razor. I really like these blades as well. It's just mowing these whiskers down, no problem. So it's the uh, Halloween weekend. You got plans? Are you having Halloween early? Seems like it's on a Monday. I know some of us have got work. Superb first pass. I've been a bit disappointed this year. I was hoping to get some photos of. Um, I mean, I've still got. I've only got tomorrow. <laughs> I was going to get some photos and put them up on the Monday shave for the Halloween shave of some of the houses um, that I delivered to. Because I usually go to town. I've only seen a few. I've not been that good. Maybe the kids have grown up and they're not interested. Maybe it's because of the cost of everything, the the hardship that we're going through in the UK. Might worldwide, isn't it? The economy. But if we can get some photos, I'll put them up on the uh, Halloween shave on Monday. Here we go, second pass. One thing I love about this razor, it, you don't have to really worry about the angle, it more or less finds it for you. Yeah, I prefer a razor with a bit more bite to it. I don't mind it being smooth and efficient like this. I just like that feel of the blade on the skin. So, I'd be interested to try the thorn. Let me know what you guys think if you've got a, if you've got both, or you've tried both. Let me know your opinion. Let me know your opinion on these blades as well if you've tried them. I really like them. Obviously, people's minds vary. Witness isn't massive, but it's there. It's doing its job. The scent seems to calm down. I don't know if it's the age of the soap or what, because I don't know. 
how long um, how long he had it before he sent it to me. It's a really nice lather though. Yeah, I'm still getting the pint. Not so much the blood. Oh, I did then, just as the brush went through. It's very unique, not complex. It's a good balance. It's a well-balanced soap. Like I said, it reminds me of um, some witchcraft. It's a soap that you evil, you love it or you hate it. It's slick in the hand. <laughs> I've had, to, I've had to wipe my hair, my hand, here we go, against the growth, third pass. Nice. Nice feedback, I don't know if you can hear that. Nice feedback off the blade. I think this is why it's my favourite pass. It's because it's when the blade sings. No pressure. Light touch. And thank you to the new subscribers as well. I've had a few over the last few days. Thank you so much for your support and jumping on board. Need a few more though. I want to get up to the 1500 giveaway because I've got an amazing giveaway lined up. I haven't done one for a while. And if you just tuned in, or you're new to the channel as well, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any uploads. Because I don't really bother with any algorithms or checking up this, that and other. But a notification came up from YouTube. So I just went through a few things and I noticed there's quite a lot of percentage of you viewers that don't subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything, just hit the button, help support the channel and help it grow. Because I know the return of viewers as well, it tells you everything. But I don't normally bother. I'm in it for the hobby. I'm in it for the hobby. It's my love and passion of white shaving. That's why I'm not monetized. I declined it. I'm not in it for the money. But it is nice to see the channel grow. Just being honest. Just missing a few places. What's me that jibby jibby? Wow, that's nice. Usual pickups around the jawline. 
We say that, the jawline, but we we go right across. <laughs> I think it's because we don't want the shade to stop. I don't anyway. I enjoy it too much. Here we go, big time. Yeah, I'll leave a link in. If you if you click on more, oh, you get to the title or the write-up or something, it's got more. If you click on that, it drops the page. I will put everything I've used and links where I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with the soap. But if you make a note of it, I'll shave in full moon. Excuse me, <laughs> I've got the jick ups. I'm trying to wake up without cut myself. Wow, that's nice. That's a great shave. I want some great shaves lately. Got water rinse as always. If anybody's new and you're wondering why we always have a cold water lint, closest to port. If you nick yourself, it helps the process of healing the nick and unblock. Oh, just a little tad on the on the top lip there. Mind you, I did buff it quite a bit. No, just on the top, just on the top lip. That's beautiful. <sighs> nice fresh towel. That's nice. Right, after shave, I've gone with the Southern Witchcraft theme because in my opinion to my nose, this is after shave splash, it smells similar. And it's Southern Witchcraft Valley of Ashes. It's so a little bit more oily, diesely, a bit more mechanical scent to this, but it's not far off. Plenty of skin food in this because it's quite milky as it comes out. I'm not going to show you because it run out my hand. <laughs> Take my word for it. It comes out milky. That's not a bad match at all with that. That's not bad at all. I'm quite pleased I could have it. From the bottle when I sniffed it, I thought that, that's not bad, but I wasn't sure when it came out because once the hair, the hair, <laughs> once the air hits something like it does with a soap or a splash, it can smell different. Well, that's beautiful. Right. Bomb, I've decided to go for it. If any of you guys suffer from any, I got this from, um, where did I get it from? Superdrug. We have a store in over here, it's like a, a big pharmacy, but a bit more um, called super drug and it's raw naturals recipe for men raw naturals mr. cool aftershave balm this does help skin irritation and bumps and all kinds and it cools you down as well it is a bit runny as you can see you don't need a lot but it is good stuff, it's okay, it's only cheap as well. That's nice. I really enjoyed that. Just ready for work. <laughs> oh. There's the result. Happy chappy.
Right, that's it, guys. Don't forget your shaves of the day, guys, please. Um, have a fantastic weekend. I might see you on Sunday if you're around. Um, if not, have fun and uh, stay smooth and stay safe. Take it easy, guys. Bye now.